Hi, this is Nancy with On Point TV. So I'm in my basement, it's really cold outside, and nothing makes a Saturday better than just spending all day sewing. So I'm working on a new project that I hope to show you in a little bit, and on the border, I kind of wanted to show you this cool technique, but I wanted to do it as a now or never. So right now, I'm gonna show you how to get a quarter inch, a beautiful straight quarter inch border in your when you're working with your border. So here's the idea, is I've got this border that is a blue, and then I've got a two inch of black, then I cut a one inch of the peach, and then I have a little bit of a wider one on the outside. But I don't want this peach to be a wide border. I want that peach to only be a quarter of an inch. Well, if you try to do a quarter of an inch border, you know, the math tells you start with three quarters of an inch, take a quarter of an inch off here, a quarter of an inch off there, and you'll have that beautiful quarter inch border. No, you won't. When you work with strips that are only three quarters of an inch wide, the fabric is going to stretch and things are just not going to be as nice as they need to be. So for this technique, I've got everything sewed together. I've got my strips. I put it together just like as if I was going to, you know, put together a regular um, strip set. So I've got the blue, the black, the peach, and the black. But instead of sewing with a quarter of an inch here, I'm instead going to sew right next to that quarter inch seam of the black. So I'm gonna put it in the machine now. I'm gonna get really close. I'm gonna take my pin out, all right? So I'm literally sewing a needle's width away from the black seam. So this seam is going, this um, finished border is going to literally be a quarter of an inch and it's gonna be perfect because I'm pretty sure anyway that my quarter inch seam that I sewed with the black was about as accurate as it could possibly be. So I'm gonna do a little bit more here and then we're gonna to go to the ironing board. All right, I'll meet you at the ironing board. All right, I'm to the ironing board now. So I've got it all laid down. If you can look real closely, can you see that line of stitching? This is the line of stitching that I just did. So I'm at my ironing board. First thing I'm gonna do as always is I'm gonna set that seam, get it nice and flat, and then I'm gonna flip it up. And now you're going to see that quarter of an inch. Look at that. It is a beautiful straight quarter inch. Now it sort of looks like as if I'd made a quarter of an inch bias bar, but with this, it's so much straighter than I think I could ever put down an applique bias bar, and I didn't have to do the applique stitches on either side. Now I'm gonna flip it over. From the back side, you don't even see the peach now. You can see that the seam that originally sewed the black and peach together is folded toward the peach, and then this is also over top of that. So that gives it a little bit of extra padding. Let me show you from the front side. When I go to quilt this, my intention is that I will quilt a line right next to the peach on both sides so that peach quarter inch will like rise up off of the quilt. It'll be really, really effective. So there you go. There's my, in the deep dark times of Michigan winter working in my studio, came up with this cute little technique so that you can have these cute little quarter inch accent borders on your quilts. Talk to you soon.